Hi and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing Attack on Titan. This is season four, episode three. It's it's already a very interesting season to get into and, and getting to know all of these. Oh, that was loud. Okay. <laughs> getting to know all of these uh characters, you know, well, still Eldians, but on the Mali side of things. And I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to be following these people for a little while before we really get to see Eren and the others again, just so that we'll really get to know these people and we'll start to care for them so that when the other people that we care for and these new people, when they start fighting and some of them will inevit inevitably die or they will start killing each other, we're going to feel like shit watching it. <laughs> that, that's what I'm expecting. Anyway, um, but they have gotten the, the, the go ahead, go ahead, the go ahead, yeah, to um, go back to the Paradise Island and retrieve the, the founding Titan um, for various reasons. And of course, uh, Seek is going to be spearheading this one again. And then we have Raina and all these uh, warrior candidates. And and we also have a feeling that they ha they have ulterior motives, or it's it's pretty clear that they at least are planning something that the the Mali government they aren't aware of. So that's going to be really exciting to see what's what's going to happen with that. But are you ready to jump into this one? Yes. Yes. You didn't see it because it was before the cameras were rolling, but um, I just grabbed Sunny Star in excitement. So. You are very excited. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I got a... Let's go. <laughs> so, well, yeah, let's do it. And you can, of course, always check out our full-length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for Attack on Titan at the moment where we are several episodes ahead compared to here on YouTube. It's all over on Patreon, and the link is down in the description below. And let's go. <laughs> だから壁に囲まれた収容所に住んでいるんだよ。私たちには悪魔の血が流れているからね。お前にお父さんがいないのもそのせいだ。お父さんは魔レジンだから。Who's talking to who? ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。ヤチンと修行したい。
those monsters just happen to be each other? <laughs> yeah. Well, at that point, for, for Aaron, it was just defeating the Titans. Yeah, yeah. Little but... did they know that the Titans, the war Eldians, turned into... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. On opposing sides, but wanting to do good. Yeah. The door of hope. It's the hope that kills you. Oh. And we get to stay in the past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Card Titan. Okay. Superior judgment. Wow. That's a full on atomic bomb. A god of destruction. Fuck. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Paraded through the streets. Tosa! ボクと母さんは目を丸地になったんだ。これで一緒に暮らす気がする。よし、バリクビにしていいんだろう。俺は逃げ切ってやるからな。お前らエルディアの悪魔の親子から。アウチ。俺は鎧の巨人を託された選
Well, wasn't lying, I guess. Well, その後は覚えてないが、馬に乗って逃げたんだ。ちょうど <laughs> wow, I can't believe Annie had a run in with fucking Kenny of all people. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were talking about the way he was sleeping. Funny positions. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Because he felt like he had to confess something? え、少しやつね。お前、ミカサみたいになれんやったらやったら。どうじゃ。俺は何も果たせそう、あっちは。ただやるべきことをやる。ただ進み続ける。それしかねえだろ。I mm. yeah, saw himself a little bit in Aaron. <laughs> What? Whoa. Oh, I Oh, fuck, dude. I was close. ことにしてるが。本当は帰りたくないだけだ。うん。今は家族に顔を合わせづらくてな。病院の人に言うか。そんなことはしませんよ。え、怪我してる。先週誰か。Is that Aaron? Mm. みんな何かに背中を押されて地獄に足を突っ込んだ。大抵その何かは自分の意志じゃない。他人や環境に強制されて仕方なくだ。その地獄の先にある何かを見ている。それは希望かもしれないし、さらなる地獄かもしれない。
because because there was a lot in this episode. I think especially seeing the whole start again. Mm. Uh, now we know uh, so much more about Annie and Bertolt and Reina and yeah. what they've been through and yes, as we because you said it, we kind of saw everything again, but just from their perspective up until the um yeah the basically the fall of the wall mm. um and it was yeah kind of interesting to see it from that perspective and definitely that's also going to give the rewatch of the start some oh yeah yeah some I, more value i i bet like there's a, a ton of rewatch value in Absolutely. this series just Absolutely. overall i i actually can't when we do get to the end, and that's going to be a, a little while with the rest of the final season here, and then there's something after that too. But when we've watched all of it, and, and we at some point decide to go back and revisit the series and watch it from the beginning again, I'm sort of looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun, because then we can start, you know, we can notice all of those little details, all of those hints that we just had no clue about mm. back then. But now that we know about it, we can... Yeah, it's it's just such a smartly weaved story. Yeah, and things will make more sense as well because mm. when you know, when you when you have that burden of knowledge, mm. and you rewatch it, and then suddenly things might even start to fall into place even more. You know, because Ex exactly you don't get this piecewise information at that point. You just. Mm. Yeah, revisited yeah. and what what you've said multiple times, and and you said it now as well with the burden of knowledge is for for you guys out there watching the reactions. You've already watched everything that that's that's out, I would presume, and and then you're re rewatching the series with us, and you might notice things that are like, oh, that's kind of obvious now, but mm. then you look at us, and and we're sitting here like two very confused people yeah. some of the times, and you're like. How come they don't? Oh, of course, it's because we don't have that burden of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> so um, even though it's there on the screen, we might not notice it because we haven't watched up until the end. Uh, mm. So again, that rewatch value is just great. Um, but let, let's get well back into to what we got in, in, in this episode. And it wasn't, of course, it wasn't a big surprise seeing the other side of things, you know, from, from that very first episode and that, that first initial attack with the Colossal Titan and the Armored Titan and um, seeing Berthold, you know, getting getting out of the Colossal Titan and, and, and then uh, Dina, Dinah, walking past him in, in Titan form. and Yeah, it was just really intriguing seeing it from that other perspective perspective uh an event that, that we've already witnessed so we even though like, yeah we knew they were there we've learned it but now we get to see it again and, and get to see how they were behaving when they first got to the island and how marcel was actually the leader of that group a real fucking bummer um and and reina up until you know or in, in that moment he was like at first why did Marcel apologize to me for protecting his brother and, and, and then talking me up so that I could become the Armored Titan? And then after, immediately after that, why the hell did he save me? Why did he push me out of the way? Why would he do that? And that's something that, well, we won't ever know because the person isn't alive any longer to, like, to tell you. Well, he is alive. Like, his memories... <laughs> They that, are alive that is throughout, actually, yeah. uh, through... Um, On normal fuck. circumstances, when someone dies, that's <laughs> that's it. But yeah, here yeah, in this world... Uh, since, since they eat each other, they also get each other's memories, as we've seen yeah. many times at this point. But we might not get an answer. Mm. Um, I, I don't know why, how important I might think that answer is. No, um, not, not at this point. It, it only, it only kind of, at this, from my perspective... Because I am, I I still I'm still limited in my mm. knowledge, uh. So f right now it seems like it's only perhaps only important to Reiner's character perhaps mm. why he would do that. But this was a very Reiner centric episode. Episode. Oh, oh yeah, 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 where we definitely. got basically not everything, but we got a lot of his character and yes, even got where he came from. 
Yes. And his whole, like, his motivations. Mm. And... Yeah, the, with the family, as I said, and, and the fact that his, his father was just a, a pure-blooded Malian, or just full-on Malian. Yeah, and you can't help but think, uh, perhaps Rainer was a mistake. And well, yeah, if you... <laughs> Listen to to what the father said. Exactly, that's what I, that's what I mean. Him, that, yeah. that perhaps she got pregnant by a mistake, and like we also we've heard so many stories about uh, people biracial couple biracial no you know what I mean like uh, couples where they are from each side of the. Well, in this case, they are biracial, right? Because they're Malians and Eldians. Eldians. So, so an example, for example, could be like an example, for example. Wow, uh, it could be that we've compared it to like Nazi Germany many times. Ger- Germans and Jews. Ex- exactly. So, like a, a yeah, a, a German, and it's just saying a, a Jew, and it even definitely happened back then a lot with like yeah. German officers and Jews, and then well, even here we had when we were had occu- um, when we were occupied back in the nineteen forties, mm. um, we there's a like yeah, and we also saw it in Banner Brothers with the, some of the uh, Dutch women, yeah, yeah, like that. Sometimes you collaborate with the enemy. Yeah, um, or you're just romantic with the, the enemy, or yeah. you get with the enemy, enemy, and and then you'll be punished in in some way, or yeah. So of course, like we we see that inside of this story as well, and the father probably at first, or you know, it was he definitely sees it as a mistake now, but I could imagine that he thought like for reals that uh, the mom, I can't remember her name was you know someone that he was interested in and and you know fell for her maybe a little bit and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden um she's pregnant and he's like fuck i can't have anyone finding this out like mm-hmm. if, like my whole family is going to get like they're going to disown me or something mm-hmm. or something's going to happen to them and he also said it in in that one like i'm just going to have to run away from here cuz the the view on Eldians is um, yeah not, yeah not, not even good. even though they were getting to be uh, honor on honor, uh, honorary honorary El, uh, Malians yeah yeah then <laughs> yeah then uh, he still didn't want to have anything to do with them so um, yeah well it's and it, it's tough right because. The way that these people, the Eldians, the way they grow up thinking that they're inferior for the sole purpose of them being a different race than mm. yeah, the Malians, it hurts me so much. Like I the way that in this in the beginning, the way that the mom talked to Rainer about Yeah, well you have devil devilish blood and everything, and it was just mm. so hurtful that people would ever talk about themselves and their uh ancestry like that like the bloodlines it's ugh. yeah that's the horrible narrative that is going on there on, on the malian side of things and, and how all the eldians have been manipulated into to thinking that and then blaming the other eldians for leaving in yeah, we, we've we've talked about that. Oh, you don't a want to times. be oppressed, so you go to your own place. What are you doing? How dare you? It's well, yeah, just... but then blaming because hey, you you left us behind or or, or something. Oh, and, you and, you were talking about the Eldians. I was talking about the Malians, like to the Eldians. Like <coughs> it's a bit like a bully, uh, you know. When of course they're Malian. getting mad that uh, the the person they're bullying is is moving to another school or another for town example or, or yeah. <laughs> just uh, getting out of the classroom after class so they could can't bully them you know like it happened seriously it happened to me so mm. um it's, it's that but that's what just what i hear like you know when people are like well i don't want to be a part of this i want to get away from the oppression well yeah well for them, it's oppression. For me, it was just bullying. And 
they just want to go get away from it, right? They just want to have like live in peace by their own and everything. Mm. And as soon as they go to do their own thing, and then the bully or the oppressor becomes upset because now they don't have anyone to oppress and they don't have any or bully, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I don't know if that's one hundred percent what's going on. No, here, no, but, but it's I, like I, I get the comparison. I get the comparison. Um, but 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 yeah. Very hard life for Aina, growing up at least, and then of course joining the warrior program, becoming the armored titan, and we also got a like a sort of a detailed explanation of all the titans there and how their powers work. Mm. And um, seeing the the Mali people in charge, like the the military officers and leaders and stuff, um, debating that back and forth and, and sending these children on these fucking missions. Um, but then again, with, with weapons that are fucking crazy, uh, like the Colossal Titan, who is basically was just a walking nuke. Yeah. Um, and, and they tested those abilities, it seems like, yeah. on other nations as well. And, and that that's definitely something like, because um, someone mentioned it mentioned it in in the comments on patreon at least that that's that's why that whole war started again i guess after the malians they sort of lost the colossal titan yeah because that was such a big deterrent they lost their nuke <laughs> um so they yeah they no longer had nuclear weapons even though of course they have other very 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 powerful titans mm -hmm. still um but that's when the rest of the world sort of did the whole at least the, the mid eastern allied forces yeah the, the, or the, whatever that was the, the mid east um, forces who are part of the allied forces um and they had a whole four year long war there yeah. and i think that's pretty much it's not over but again that's the whole thing with them wanting to now go and get the founding titan again is because the, the weapons that are getting very effective against their titans and also being able to mind... Or are they only able to mind control other aliens? The Founding Titan? Yeah. Oh, we actually haven't discussed that. Whether or not the Founding Titan can do the whole memory wipe thing on anyone else besides the, the aliens or... Yeah, we haven't talked about that. So we, we don't know. That's that's just a mystery at this yeah. point. Um, but they definitely want it for something. Yes. To... Uh, control the rest of the world however that works so yes uh bottom line the mid-eastern forces they attacked mali but it was unusual because mali is usually the attackers so yeah that was it yes yes that, that was just to clear up because mm -hmm. You thought that it was the Mali people who attacked everyone else. Yeah, and, and they definitely did attack everyone else. But at some point, they, the other forces wanted to retaliate against the Malians. And that was the thing that I missed. Yeah, yeah. And then they had to, to focus on that for yes. approximately four years. It's just sometimes if we get just one detail wrong, it can sort of spin out of control. And then we just want to make sure that we have... We do have all the details right, and, and then we can theorize after that. But back to the episode. We, we also got to, of course, spend time with Annie again, which was, you know, sort of nice seeing that character again, and, and Berthold. Um, and, and then we, uh, we got to see them, you know, after they did the thing there as children, and then they became older. Time passed, and, and then we, we got to see them sort of sneaking around just a little bit or having some conversations probably around the time of, you know, other events that we've already watched. And at one point, we even got Annie going out and looking for information. I'm sure they, they gathered a, a lot of information while there, and, and she was sort of roaming around in, in the underground. And who did she run into? Kenny! Kenny! That Kenny. was also yeah. <laughs> that was also sort of nice seeing him again, and and she was like, I I can't move freely around, you know, down there because of that guy, mm. um, and yeah, 
you, you probably don't want to mess with Kenny, especially in, on his own turf. No. Um, but but she she definitely tried, and she tried uh, <laughs> like a little ruse there with I'm here looking for my dad, and you could probably be my dad, and you know just trying to yeah bamboozle him in some way. Uh, but he he was just too quick and too smart, and like yeah no you don't. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a con artist myself, <laughs> so you don't con a con artist. It's hard to at least. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine so. But after they then lost Marcel, Rainer became sort of the leader, um, or he he took that role upon himself, and almost like choked out Annie, and that was a, a disturbing little fight that they had there. And and him being so committed to it, and 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 we know. You know what what then happened afterwards, and especially with his you know mental state. Yeah, but if you if you look upon, like how he was raised and everything he was told, and like it basically everything we saw in this episode, we definitely get why because he was so devoted into thinking that Eldians were so bad, and especially the ones in in parties that he was actually. Th- that's one of the many reasons why reality probably struck him mm. also because when Marcel then sacrificed himself so they could live he was suddenly left here and they were like either we go back and mm. I get eaten mm. and then my life is basically wasted mm. or we just continue on and perhaps we can actually do something good yeah and yeah still Finish continue this on mission. yeah and I think that's really like he. That's really some of the things that really make made him disconnect a lot, right? Because then he went to uh, go inside the walls, and he met all these people, and uh, the whole thing where you have to play a part and be undercover. Can yeah, be yeah. Hard, especially when he's so de- like his devotion. It was so clear that it was so deeply incarnated in him. Yeah. And then suddenly he goes to meet these devils mm. and as we also saw in the last episode when he explained this devilish behavior that was not devilish at all he yeah, was just yeah. describing people and mm. even with a little bit of a perhaps a little bit of like a not a love in his voice but you know some sort of at least compassion for these people mm. in his voice um then we get to see that well he learned the hard way that these people are great and especially the whole Scene with Eren doing the whole uh, where he was just yeah where they were training and he was like how can I become like yeah. you, you or Mikasa because um, you're so yeah you're so like you're so strong and you're so pers- persistent oh, no persistent you know uh, yeah yeah but enduring he, during, it's during he's got that. a lot of endurance yeah <laughs> but then well since he trained a lot. Mm. He trained a lot, a lot. Perhaps a lot of the, that guilt and a lot of that, uh, yeah, all of all of these feelings, the emotions went into his uh, wanting to become good and, and great. And it made him go forward. Um, so it was like a drive for him. And perhaps that even spiraled him out even more. Per- perhaps, perhaps. Towards this, like, dissociation. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he's such a tragic character. And we also saw that how it bit, basically bit him in the ass that he went through all of this shit and he's probably confused as hell because he don't know, he doesn't know what to think or he doesn't know what to feel. Yeah, perhaps. yeah, we, we, we just... see the state that he is in now in present time and yeah. it's it's even with, you know, doing this whole thing to become like an honorary uh, Malian as we saw in the, in the info screen, like the, the explanation behind... Like the the warrior program and how they themselves yeah will become honor honorary Malians, but also their extended families. Yeah. Has that happened really? Like they're all of them still being treated as less than Probably the Malians, and even someone like Sieg, like we've seen him, we saw him at a meeting at one point, and he was so uh permission to come with a like to uh, mm. suggest something or to talk and. They're still like they're not honorary Malians. They're not being treated as they're not. They don't treat them as one of their own or their own. Like they mm. they still treat them as Eldians, no matter what. So it's like this whole thing that we did for for fucking what? Mm. What did it help? What sort of hope was it that I had that 
it was going to help my family and I could be to, we could be together again, yada, yada. And how naive was, was that? Um, and he's really fucking lost Rainer at the moment. So much so that. <laughs> Contemplate a suicide. Well, yeah, that was beyond he... contemplation. He had the rifle in his mouth and yeah. he was about to pull the trigger. And then he heard uh, Colt on the other side. No, not Colt. Um, Falco? Falco, yeah. On, 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 the, on, the, on the other side of the wall. And, and it sort of reminded him that, oh, I still have something to live for. And or I, st I still have these people that I care for, care about, and, and they're sort of my responsibility in a, in a way. At least I, I can imagine those were the thoughts that went through his head. So, so yeah, that, that was good that we didn't lose Rainer or he didn't um, blow off his own head. And then do we have anything before we get to that final scene? It was just um, uh, interesting to see a young seek uh, well, oh yeah way back I, I didn't recognize him because he didn't have he has a beard now right and yeah yeah and glasses I, and everything i only recognized the voice yeah but i didn't even <laughs> like so i was just like oh god yes of course that's seek yeah. um but it also put that into perspective why seek perhaps really wanted uh, why he was writing out uh, grisha because then um he could become an honorary Malian as well because if he really 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, te like uh, attested his lo loyalty mm. Mm. then perhaps he could get this honorary Malian yeah uh, especially if he cares a lot about his grandparents yes then and he could at least save them for yeah and he got a very them. powerful Titan uh, you got the Beast Titan, where they even like they know there is something about his blood, about yeah. his blood that where he can he has special abilities to control Titans. So a, a, an ability that they also mentioned um, the the female Titan having inside of this episode, mm, yeah. the ability to to control normal Titans. Yeah, and yeah, we or call we've, them at least. Yeah, we've seen that as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with the, with with Seek as well, if he knew that he had royal blood, that could also be a reason why Seek perhaps gunned even more for becoming one of the the Titans because he knew he had royal blood. Yeah, uh, and, and not only just becoming part of this warrior program, but it seems like he's sort of not leading it, but he's in a very trusted position. Yeah. Even compared to, to, to the others. What if what if he actually was in contact with the owl and the owl actually bestowed this upon him? I, I yeah, perhaps. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe get to, to yeah, see yeah. that. We'll, we'll, it, I'm sure we're going to get just... more flashbacks as well that's going to explain even more stuff. Um, but yeah, it's position that, that Zeke is in uh, as well is, is also very, very interesting in the fact that he he said that, um, and who was he talking to at that point? That that was called, I think, where he said that I don't even know what's up with my blood, kind of a deal. And then he also had that that little line with, um, if you inherit my beast titan, then you're gonna know my secrets. I don't think he was really lying there. And then he just sort of made a joke about it afterwards with my secret about how I wipe my ass. But I'm okay, so sure he has he's this... completely in the dark about his royal blood. No, no, that's what I'm saying, that he isn't, that he, oh, he okay, does know sorry. about it and he's keeping it a secret and yeah, even yeah. joking about it a little bit. Okay, it just sounded the way that you said it, it sounded like, like he didn't know. And no, no, that's, no, that's, that he was actually... that's what I found interesting is that he said that he didn't know. And then he also said something about you'll get to know my secret and then joking about it. So it's like, mm. well, yeah, he definitely yeah. knows what's up with his own blood. But why isn't he saying that to anyone? Um that's of course because he has an ulterior motive, and then we're back to that. Yeah, exactly. And if I, I think perhaps if they knew, mm. uh, they might want not, him gone. Yeah, might not trust him as much yeah. if, if they knew he had straight up royal blood inside of him. But all right, let's get to that last scene. That was definitely Eren. Yeah. And we have seen someone who looked like Sean at some point, and we've discussed, I don't know if we've discussed it on camera or like off camera, but we've talked about the possibility of our crew 
having infiltrated the Malians in a way, and that's how they're getting information. And well, fuck yeah, because wow, for how long have you been there, Aaron? How did you infiltrate? And did you just chop off your leg and then you have so much control now that you're just not growing it out? Yeah, or? and now you, like, because he, he was not, he, there was no steam coming out of the leg as well. So yeah, yeah. is he really that much in control? Well, um, we have even clearly. discussed that possibility as well because it's it's been four a number years. of years. It's been four years since we really saw them last, or well, technically three, because I think, yep, there was a year between everything that happened in season three and then them riding out and going to the sea. But we haven't seen him use his powers in four years. So he yeah. must have learned a lot not growing out your limbs or controlling the regrowing of your limbs uh, that that could That's be one of them yeah. it seems like he's also maybe missing an eye or something i or don't at least, think at I... least he's just got bandages on and then he's got long hair and it's just really difficult to see who he is but i at least sort of recognized the voice right yeah. away and and then just what he was talking about and then of course that last shot of his face and you yeah, see yeah. the green eye color 100 mm. percent, Aaron. But what I the hell, man? <laughs> I think that the reason, like, of course, it was supposed to be kept in the dark, it was him. Mm. And that's also why he had the, at least the, the one eye. But I also think that perhaps it's to uh, limit his recognizability for at least... The, view, the the audience or... No, no. For... Uh, we know that Seed knows what he, oh. lo what he looks like and... Yeah, some of these people definitely know what he looks like. So. Yeah, yeah. Even though, again, it's, it's been a number of years. But, you but you're not going to change that, that much. much. No, <laughs> no, no, no. And especially not your, your voice either. Um, if he ever, like, if he says something and, and Rainer hears it, Rainer is going to react to that immediately. Because if he, he was definitely like, knows his voice. If he was like 10 mm. and he went from 10 to 17 or 20 or something, there might be a, like a lot of difference in the mm. way that he looked. Yeah, but now But since he's... it's been like, it's well, it's... He's like it's 19 been, now. Yeah, and it's been f four years, so he's only gone from 15 yeah. to 19. So yeah. it's, it hasn't at least changed that I, much. I, I, can't, I, I can, can only speak from my experience with other people, mm. but they don't change that much, so, so you can't really no, 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 recognize no. them. Like the f yeah. yeah, but I am actually quite glad that this is what they're doing, Aaron and the others. They're infiltrating in this way and they're getting to talk to some of the Eldians on the other side and it makes me less afraid that because I was sort of afraid that they were just going to come in at some point and just start killing everyone because again last we saw Eren he was pointing at you know the other side of the sea and being like that's where the enemy is we have to kill all of them yeah but maybe being amongst them and talking to the survivors and especially all the Eldians and maybe talking to Falco now, it's gonna make them and Eren realize that no, they're not all the enemies here. There's actually people we need to save, but he's probably not gonna be so, he's not gonna hold back when it comes to the Malians. I, I think. No, I don't, I think you're right about that because, well, um, at this point for me, the Malians are the actual devils. <laughs> <laughs> just the way they're treating everyone else yeah and it's like especially the Eldians again they can have done huge atrocities in the past but we don't really know because we only have like the two sides we don't have any like objective uh, truth and I don't think history can ever be told objective we had a whole talk about objectivity mm. uh, so let's not get into that but at least at this point the Malians are really the bad guys. If the way that it's portrayed being, so far, being shown to us, yeah. And then Eren is, uh, but he's uh, for me. It was like he was saying the kind of the right things, you know. He was talking about how he like nobody should want this war, and he didn't want to be in it. Well, I mm. know that's just a cover, um, because I honestly don't think he was out fighting. No, um, no. And it was as just as he said a, a, a reason to to come back so perhaps he was just acting like he perhaps even found a dead person on the field and he just took their clothing or something and then 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know yeah. how exactly. No, it is not important. Please, Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but at least he's there now, and he talked with Falco, and he's talk- talked about yeah, this like, how yeah how war is horrible. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and it's it feels like it's the right things to say, but because I I am so suspicious of him. Because you you know my feelings on him because I was like sure that he was just doing complete Walter White uh, oh, Breaking he's, Bad he's just thing here. Full on Breaking Bad, yeah, okay. Yeah, so 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 for me, I'm just so suspicious of his motivations and what he says because people could definitely say the right things, but under like false pretenses or mm. trying to manipulate other people. Um, yeah, but, but but at least for for me. The reason why I said I'm glad to see this, I'm, I'm glad they're doing it this way, is because I, I'm at least hoping that him talking to someone like Falco and, and seeing how things are on the inside for the Eldians, that it's not just going to be a kill everyone sort of a deal. And and then just they, they learn more about their uh, opponents, mm. uh, I guess you could say. It's just it's a good way to go about it. So and, and it's also it makes for a more interesting story as well. So can't can't wait to see more of that. Uh, I do I do also have a feeling that something terrible is gonna happen soon, and they are gonna have to show themselves, and and we're gonna to, yeah I don't know for how long they're gonna just do a lot of exposition and jump back and forward in time and introduce new characters to us. Like it's, it's the shit is going to hit the fan again very, very soon. But do you have anything else you want to add to this one? I have just so many questions about like, <laughs> but um, that just, I, I have to go through the questions in my head. Myself. Yeah. Yeah. Sure thing. Sure thing. It's it. We've also talked for a little while now about this episode and it was an episode that was all over the place. And I feel like our discussion mirrored that it was sort of all over the place as well. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this reaction and review of Attack on Titan season four, episode three. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.